Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I forgot to film my intro this morning before I started but I did remember to video my morning workout so I'll post that next. Um, so basically I'm not one of these girls that when I'm working out in the house I'm going to put on a fancy fabletics matching set or whatever. I'd literally just done it in my pyjamas that I slept in the night before and then went for my bath. Um, so it's about 12 o'clock just now. I've just got ready and I'm getting ready to go to the shopping centre. I've got some bits and bobs I need to pick up for my body shop and Avon orders, just like wee hampers or whatever. Uh, I'm going to pick up some wrapping and gift bags and stuff for my Christmas presents and just a couple of wee bits and bobs to put in with people's Christmas presents. So I'm going to go get continue getting ready to do that. It's raining so I don't know why I straighten my hair and here is my morning workout. It was a TikTok workout I done and I'll post the link for that in the description box. That's me back from the shopping centre now. It's half past five, so I was there for quite a while. Um, I had to drop off some A1 and Body Shop stuff to my friend along the way. Um, I did manage to get all the Christmas stuff I needed, and one of the customers from my work um, messaged me to see if I was in the area, and I was like, yeah, I'm here. So he came with my Christmas present and got me. So cute. And he got me these little, can you see that with the selfie? they're like wee labyrinth badges he was like it's just a daft thing I thought you'd like it and I swear to god like we should have things like that make me emotional um so we've just found out today that as of Friday we're going back into the lockdown 2.0 so I've been a bit annoyed at that today so I just kind of want to chill out tonight now but my friend Ashley's coming she's got two ponies and a horse so I'm going to go up to the stables with her um and just help her muck out the horses and feed them their hay and that sort of thing <laughs> before I went so I don't think I'll die but um, as you can see I just went in the bath with my makeup on and I've kind of got eyebrow everywhere so I'm just going to do my skincare routine I'll take my top use through what I use generally at night time um, and then I'm going to wrap in gift bag um, all my Christmas presents do have most things so far 
still just got a couple of wee random bits and bobs to get. I keep thinking I'm finished and then going, oh, but I've not got this person this, so, oh, I forgot this person existed, so my list kind of keeps getting longer. So, for my cleanser, I'm using the oil infused micellar water from Avon. And you just basically shake it in oil and the water mixes and it like takes everything off. And all of a sudden I've just been demonetised. Oh, it feels so silky. Like, usually my cell water just feels like actual water, but this actually feels like it's like moisturising or something. Oh, that's so much better. And I just got some in my eyeball and that was kind of stingy. My skin has honestly been ridiculous recently just because obviously I've been wearing a mask all the time um, and it just doesn't really agree with my skin I've got kind of sensitive skin anyway so the second anything touches it my skin just kind of falls out with me and I get quite bad breakouts I mean it's not as bad as it was I've got like one here and then it's mainly my chin just obviously because that's where the mask's sitting thankfully my nose and like this area has been okay and it is just my chin but been getting them like under my chin and I've never really got them there before. And then, oh, 10 points. Um, so for my toner, I've been using the Body Shop Tea Tree and it's a skin clearing mattifying toner. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I was that person until about three months ago that just sort of lifted whatever was on offer off the shelves at Morrison's and that was, sorry, that was my entire skincare routine but obviously now that I work for a one and body shop like you just naturally learn things and pick knowledge up as you're sort of doing it and obviously people ask you questions and you need to look up the answer like you sort that so not really that I've actively made an effort to be better with my skincare but I just automatically when I'm buying things now sort of go for what is actually suited for my skin instead of like making up as I go along and I will say my skin is a lot better than it used to be I was like a teenager until I was about 26 but I mean last year we have turned it around not that my skin's perfect by any means and I do have far too many wrinkles for being 27 but you went something hard so oh another 10 points and um, last but not least my moisturiser I've been using the Body Shop Vitamin E suitable for all skin types um, that are ones that are more suited for like oily skin or dry skin or whatever but mine's is kind of just makes up what it's doing day by day so I didn't really get a specified moisturiser um, and this one's just the silky feeling as well I feel like it like actually absorbs into your skin whereas some moisturiser just sit on your skin helps if I rub my forehead in they are we go feeling nice and clean and fresh. So I'm gonna wrap some Christmas presents now. Miss bit. Um and I'll show you when I'm done. So I've just finished my Christmas wrapping. Well I've not finished it but I ran out of wrapping paper. Um and a couple of the gift bags that I have. I've still got extra stuff to go in it so I didn't want to like tie it up and stuff yet. Um, while I'll be wrapping, I've just watched the second half of the season Emily in Paris on Netflix. If MD's not watched it yet, go watch it, it is amazing. Um, so we've got... Uh, actually, Laurie is a boy. Laurie is a boy. I don't know why, I always want my wrapping paper to all match each other, because obviously when they go in the dark, everyone else's Christmas trees. They're going to have different wrappings, it's all different colours, but I, I don't know, it just pleases me aesthetically, I suppose. Um, so, yeah, now I've got a body shop hamper to make, a, well, I've got three to do so far. Um, and then I've got a spare one I'm going to do just in case anybody else orders one, just because I've got excess stuff. Um, but it is currently, like, half two in the morning so I don't really know how far I'm going to get with that tonight. I'm thinking what I might do is just get like all the stuff at the bottom laid out um, and get the cellophane and the bows and stuff ready to go on once the rest of my stuff comes tomorrow. 
um, and then I will just make them up tomorrow and they're sitting there ready to go because obviously some of them are from over the Erskine Bridge, so for, like from Dalmuir and Clyde Bank and stuff that I've ordered. So I'm going to need to try and get that to them obviously before the lockdown on Friday because I don't think I'm allowed over there. I've still got glitter in my eye. So I'm going to need to, I swear if this order doesn't come tomorrow, I'm going to have some sort of mental breakdown because literally I'm not going to be able to take it after Friday. Well, lockdown starts on Friday, so after Thursday I'm not going to be able to take it and this right now is technically Wednesday morning. So I've got either today or Thursday, so if I can make them up tomorrow, then I can deliver them on Thursday. So fingers crossed, that is what happens. Okay guys, so this is the first hamper I've made. I'm quite impressed if I say so myself. I'm going to need to the top because it's been a bit floppy, but that bow was a first try and I mean it's not amazing but it's staying like that. Um, so this is a £30 one and in it is a pink grapefruit bath bubble, a pink grapefruit body mist, a pink grapefruit shower gel, um, a white bath lily which is like the wee exfoliator scrubby scrunchy things you get. Um, and I bought a Skin So Soft and there's also a lipstick which is like a nude mauve colour. Um, the other one that I've got that's going to be £50 is the same um, basket and ribbon and stuff I got for it. Um, because they're going to the same customer. But there's still loads of stuff to come tomorrow for that. So, so far there's a lipstick, a mask and a scrub in that. So yeah, uh, it's now about half three. Um, I'm going to put all the hamper stuff away and then basically I've got loads of empty boxes from like my Avon orders, my body shop orders and stuff. So I think my plan is for the Christmas presents, if I have like a box per house, so if I have like all the stuff going to Ashley's house in one box, all the stuff going to Louise's house in one box, all the stuff staying in my house in one box, and then that way everything's organised. So when it comes to wrapping the rest, I just need to put them in the individual boxes and then when I'm delivering it, um, it's just a case of obviously taking that full box to the house and said I should carry yeah, like nine of my own bags. Got all the hampers and my presents up there. Wrote the names on the boxes because I'm organised now. I don't pull down like every single box every time I'm looking for something. And I've just put my wax melt burner on. This is the baby powder one. I feel like these stars are really cute. Um, my friend from work sister actually makes these on our Facebook page as Debbie's Delight. I'll put a wee um, link to it in the comments bar in case MD's interested. It's five to four just now. I'm always up all night, but for some reason tonight I'm extra tired. I think I'm gonna go make something to eat because all I've had all day is dinner. Um, so I'm gonna just grab like a snack, like a sandwich or something. Um, and I'm gonna lie in bed and watch Friends and then do my fake dance. And then we'll see how I feel about life. Morning guys, so I've just done my fake tan, looking nice and brown. Um, so I'm just going to finish this episode of Friends and hopefully try to sleep. Thanks for watching if you made it this far and I hope you enjoyed my my day and lockdown routine. But it wasn't really a routine because it was just kind of me doing random things video. Um, if MD has any more ideas for videos I can do, then comment or send me a message if you know me in real life or whatever. Um, and I'll try and do as many of them as I can. Thanks for watching guys and sweet dreams.